Okay, so from music, let's move straight into comedy. And we have the Bishop of Comedy, Paris Mouth, all the way from a sibling country, our fighting buddies, our partners in crime, Nigeria. And he's here to actually talk about a comedy show that is going to happen on the 28th of April, 2024. Good afternoon and welcome to Entertainment Review, the Bishop of Comedy, a.k.a. Harold. Harold Math. Good afternoon, um, gentleman and beautiful lady. lady. Good afternoon. How welcome. are you? How are you? If you are fine, I'm fine. I'm okay. trying to be like you. You know, don't let this guy deceive. You know what? He speaks impeccable truth. Like he truly has. Oh, that's <laughs> oh. he, he, He's 100% Nigerian. Oh, Minty. Minty. Oh, today. Oh, Minty. 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 Atomic. Atomic. But anyways, what tree no tree no tree But you know, this this event, um uh, Laugh It Off yeah. 2024, he's been doing it for Six years yeah, now. Six years, yeah. And he chose April because he's an April born. Sit April right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. April. Yes, hey. April. And he decided that the last Sunday he wants to do something for the April born. So any April born, this show listen is for you. And it's for you. We are outside. Yeah. He is doing it for you. But let, let's talk about the success of the show. How it's been. What would you attribute the success to? Six years. It's not easy to have this going on back to back to back. Work. Okay. Work. I remember the the very first Laugh It Off we did. Mm -hmm. It was just, I think it was just me and Prophet Kofi Odro. Eh? Yes. Ah. Alabasta. Yes. The famous Prophet Kofi Odro. Oh. Yeah. So that's why I've tagged this one, My Journey. My Journey. Because okay. it was Prophet Kofi Odro that launched Laugh It Off. Then Prophet Kofi Odro was not big like this. Mm -hmm. Then his church was on the Amasama Kokasi end. Okay. Uh, yeah. So... Um, then I, it was just myself, Prophet Kofiodo. So I went, did some comedy. Mm -hmm. Then Prophet Kofiodo came to preach. Mm -hmm. okay. I will never forget the message of preaching. Understanding your gifts and building on your gifts as a youth. Okay. okay. I'll never forget. Wow. Yeah. And it was Understanding your gifts gift, and building. Beauty, yes. And he was putting on a, an African print. And mm -hmm. I was also putting on an African. Okay. He was putting on an African print. I was putting on kaftan. You know, there's a difference. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah Depend sure. on the one that you, where you buy your own. So he came in, preached. Then after that, the event did not really turn up mm -hmm. the way I was expecting. expecting because it was at Pentecost University at that time mm -hmm. to do that in the auditorium. Okay. So, so you know. So, and then funny enough, it was free. Okay. It was free. But... Yes. Yeah, it was free. But then nobody even knew me. Nobody knew Prophet Kofi Odra at yeah. that time. So nobody even, nobody minus. It was like a, a, a crusade. A mm. crusade that you've organized and it was just you and your speakers. Amazing. And some few students turned up and we were like, okay. And we did it. And from there, we like, okay, we went back to the table. What happened? Why is it not working? And I, I wanted to do a successful event. I have to see one person that I know that he has been doing it with ease, which is Minister Joe Metu. Oh, so I met you. I was like, bro, how do you do this? And he was like, okay, fine. You have to do this. You have to do it. You are in Nigeria. You have the fighting spirit. And one thing about me is I don't give up. My team members, they can tell you. I, me, I'm, a, I'm a, this type of a risk taker. Mm. I don't mind. I'm, I'm ready to invest my last money on a project. Wow. Yeah. That's good to hear. And, and, you know, and of course, I mean, the success of it was that at the comedy awards that was held over the weekend, I was the one that presented... The you won event of the year. Event of the year. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mentioned laugh it off. Okay. So you know, I came to the event enough. I came to the event with this type of okay, I'm just coming to support the boys. Okay. So I was even outside. And they're coming, pa, 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 you won event of the year. I was like, ah. Mm. Laugh it off one event of the year. I was like, so I didn't believe. Ah. So I came, I peeped from the <laughs> <laughs> and I saw my boy on stage. When I ended, everybody was shouting, I was like, it is true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, you didn't come on stage. Yeah, I didn't. I, I didn't. Uh -huh, so, yeah, someone took it on your yes. behalf. Because yeah. I, didn't, I didn't believe that anything like that was, was going, was going to happen. Because I'm just in my corner doing... I think people are looking for a word. I'm looking for money. So there's a difference. So, but how long have you been doing this? This is a six... This is a six no, no, no. In comedy, how long you, as like, you've started? I think um, I'm going to eight, nine years, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. Okay. Yes. I'm going and to is there years. a particular reason why you associate your comedy to Christian comedy? Okay, well, um, there is no 
um, reason, reason. Mm -hmm. So I like to challenge myself. When I started a comedy journey in Ghana, yeah, I look around the boys. There is nobody that said, okay, I'm doing church comedy. Mm -hmm. I'm doing, you know, when you say church comedy, a lot of people will tell you, okay, you don't joke with the Bible. You don't pick things from the Bible. <laughs> you don't do this. Mm. So I, I mean, my turn off for a Christian is when you compare mm. Christianity to Muslim, compared Christianity to Buddhist, you come, no. You are a Christian, you are a Christian. Mm -hmm. You are a Muslim, you are a Muslim. Yeah. There is no A, there is no B. You choose your stand. Mm -hmm. Christianity is not the church. Christianity is your heart. Mm -hmm. So mm. God will not judge you that you went to church 40 times a day. Mm. God will judge you. Your heart, is your heart pure? What did you do? What is your decision? So I mean, when I'm doing my, when, so even when I even started, a lot of people were like, what is Christian comedy? It took only people that understand the work to even make me popular in Ghana, which is like Apostle General Sankasi Ankara, mm -hmm. MOG, um, um, Joe Metu, and Prophet Kofi Odo that used me for um, Love Talk way back. Mm. You know, so those are the people that understand that, okay, fine, you can do this. Like my event, you can't come to my event. If you are coming, if you want to go for a comedy show and you want to go and hear vulgar things, sex, this, don't come for Laugh It Off because okay. you'll be disappointed. So when you are coming, I tell everybody, Last year, last two years, I brought a coro I, from the airport. Mm -hmm. I let him understand, bro, it's a Christian show. I was like, oh, we'll go fire, we'll go praise, we'll go mm. do this. I said, but it's a church event. Mm -hmm. It's a comedy event that you can come with your family because people come to their kids, people come with their, so we yeah. don't want to yeah. say, okay, I went to uncle's show and I heard this. It's not me. Mm. So just come <laughs> and enjoy yourself. <laughs> it's, it's not me. It's not me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And as you've started and the, 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 I would say, the career progress, would you say this whole genre of picking your type of comedy, Christian comedy, is what sets you apart from different people? Because the, the place you're coming from, Nigeria, comedy is a big deal. It's a whole sector on its own. So I want you to tell us, aside Christian uh, genre, Christian comedy, what other things did you do to set you apart, even though the industry is so big and there are diverse talents and everything? I just know, I just know what I want to do for myself. Mm -hmm. Like me like this, there are some events that you call me, I don't do it. It's not pride. It's not about the money. I just feel, um, as a man, as a woman, you don't have to be everywhere. Okay. But you, you are a business. Yes. You're it's business. Yeah. So this, this is what people... So what kind of events are that? Sorry, though. So I do, so for example... I do corporate events. I mm -hmm. do the Oil and Gas, Ghana Manufacturing Award, Ghana Shippers and Industry Award. So there are some type of events that I do. Mm -hmm. I do, um, okay, last two years, the last two years, I did MMC Life. Mm -hmm. And that was my, that was one of the major events, was myself and Kenny Black. Mm -hmm. And I came, when I even came out, like, when I finished performing, they were like, so Kenny Black was like, Charlie, every year you did fire. I was like, no, I did learn the work. And they're like, okay. Type of event I will not do. I will not do an event that you feel you are giving me, a, you are doing me a favor. Hey. Yeah. But how do you know the person? Oh, we know. We are ah. all in Ghana now. Ah. There are some events that they will call you, they feel they are doing you a favor. Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah. And that's what I, 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 was, I was saying this morning in an interview that you don't do the boys a favor. The boys are rather doing you a favor. It's give and take. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are giving me your platform. I'm giving you my content. Your audience is happy. Give me my money. We are all happy. It is business. And if you don't know, I feel comedians should be paying more than musicians. Yes, comedians should be paying more than musicians. For example, if you invite Medica, all the songs Medica will sing that you've heard, that you know, that's what Medica will come and perform. But when you invite Obi, you are expecting new jokes. Yeah. When you invite Lexi, you are expecting new jokes. DKB, new jokes. Parrot Mart, new jokes. Akbaro has been coming to Laugh It Off. This is the third year that it's coming for Laugh It Off. As it's coming, everybody, ha, Akbaro, they come with something new, something new, mm -hmm, something mm -hmm, new. Mm -hmm. But if you invite Sarko, as it comes, you can guess, ah, you know what I mean? You already know where he's going. But yeah. if it is we, the moment you start the joke, oh, I've heard it. You've heard it before. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I we do more angry. work than the than musicians. musicians. So they have, they have to give us more. But mm -hmm. funny enough, once they are booking us too for outside events, they'll tell you, hope you are coming alone. I'll be like, no, I'm coming with him. I say, oh, we didn't really budget for this. But you invite Medica or invite Keshe. Keshe, Keshe, two of them, the two, two um, Ken and Ebe, two of them. <laughs> then they will have their photographer. Then the most annoying one, they will have one person. That person does not have work. He just will in pen drive. They have another person that hold water. They have another person that hold face towel. 
And they will pay five for all of them. And you said they will come, they are like 30 people. They're like, where's your work? Make it a pen drive. Who <laughs> swear in CEO? Who swear face tower? And you, in case of emergency. And there will never be any emergency. <laughs> then you see it. one person today is working. You say, ah, so what is your work? So in case they want to breathe well. <laughs> <laughs> So we do more. See, that is you, content already. I'm telling you, <laughs> you know what? We are going to laugh at all this Sunday. Yeah, this very Sunday. 28 yeah. years. And yeah. at where? I think AIS, AIS Auditorium. Yeah. yeah. Association. International School. Airport. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's just, uh, it's just um, yes, the airport yes. area. So, so there you have it on your screen. And your lineup is serious. Hey. Oh. Yes, wor I'm seeing worry. Yeah, worry picking. Worry picking is coming. That lady was worrying during Moses Bliss's wedding. Hey! She's, like, hey. She's, she's, she's every. She was, she, it felt like the wedding is for her. Yeah, now, she, now she's a slave queen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now so, she can slave. Yeah, so like, you understand. Forget that thing. She the man you don't know, say, like, you've been oppressing her. <laughs> <laughs> now I have removed everything. Talk oh. to me direct. <laughs> wow. And I can see DKB there. Yeah, DKB, the head of Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> and which other people? Akoro is the regular customer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Then we have chemical, and we have para mock news. Yeah. So we have some guys that will start the event. Before. Yeah, great lineup. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great, great lineup. Wow. So this is value for your money, right? This is value for your yeah. money. Yeah. Because we start, Akoro will come do his thing, Wari Peking will come. Yeah. And I'm doing one hour 30 minutes. One hour 30 minutes. Stretch. You are doing one hour. Stretch days. nonstop. Okay. There are a lot Before of things. Before the others will do this. Yeah, yeah, there are a lot of things to talk about. You know, you know, we are coming to um, election time. Yes. But so there are a lot of things to talk about. Doomso. Oh, no, there's no doomso in Ghana. Eh. There's no doomso in Ghana. Compared know, to Nigeria. No, Stephen. You have to be even be doing Thanksgiving. <laughs> you are supposed to buy cow to go and thank God. Because what you are is not do so. <laughs> so we don't need a timetable. <laughs> You are having light out. You are having a question for timetable. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so, like on a regular, how is it like in Nigeria? Baba, on a regular, it's our bet, right? <laughs> I, since they're born, I can count how many times that I've seen light in Nigeria. Baba, the moment you land, if you fly to Nigeria during night, it's like night club. There's light here. There's light here. Then you go and see another light. If, if you will see light, if you want to have light in Nigeria, it's two things. Is that you buy fuel or solar? Okay. Oh. <sighs> So, so if it's anybody regular, there's no light. But wait, yeah, so is, light is it, wait, wait, is it the whole, like, you have like 36 states? 36 states, yes. The whole 36 states. It's not the whole 36 states. It's the state that you want to have light that will have light. <laughs> I guess it. I guess it. It's so just it's like, it. yeah. So places like. Ah. So I, places, where I went. That's it. Where I'm staying now. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Other experience do so. Where is that? Well, oh. Where is that? Are, no, it's true. We are where? staying right now. We are staying now. Other do so. Do you know why? Do you know why? Airport. Because this is my house. This is another house. And the other person says, if you have light, I'll go ahead and kill all of us. <laughs> you know what? Go ahead and enjoy this this coming Sunday. What's the time, though? Oh, 5 p.m. 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Yes. Association. So, International okay. School yes. Airport. Okay. Come, come, come and enjoy. Yes. Come and enjoy comedy. Come and enjoy music. You enjoy should, you music. should, you should. I'll be doing music. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for having really, me. Really, really, really appreciate I like the way we are all wearing glasses. Spider-Man's. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>